Hello, I am Dr. Thompson Akwantuba, international physician, certified professional expert in global health, USA, subspecialized in global health communication and medical communication or medcom. Updates, global health. The World Health Assembly special, special session two in Geneva, where almost 100 and 94 members of the UN and the UN agency of the WHO are looking at a pandemic treaty, looking at the way to strengthen international health regulation. European countries, African countries, Asian countries, South American countries have already taken the floors. Presidents have spoken, Angela Merkel and other presidents of South America and other places. We know that the HHS health leader of the United States, though he's not a physician, though he doesn't have a certificate in global health, though he's been insulted by Ted Cruz and the others that he should not even have been confirmed, will be speaking. Well, he may have his limitations, but he's going to speak on, the, on some of the issues that America faces. Because some of the problems related to COVID and other things don't make any sense in America. Because the, the data and the statistics in America are very, very poor especially in some of the big cities where people who don't have any reason to be head of departments of, 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 of health are heads of department. They, they don't have any certificate in public health. They don't have any certificate in medicine. They don't have anything. And they make the greatest noise around the, the place. But I want to tell you that as we enter the International AIDS Day, we are sure that the United Nations member states through their leaders of their health departments in the different countries. Yes, I used to be I used to be a chairman of health for, for the state elites. And I remember meeting the Prime Minister, talking to the presidency about some of the things that we have to do, strengthening global health, looking at issues related to health systems, infrastructure, health resources and personnel and all of that. I fought for the creation of a medical medical school, constantly meeting the Prime Minister, meeting the, the Vice Chancellor of the University. And so I have a lot of experience in this global health issue. So it makes me very angry and mad with the certification and everything experience in the United States to see the mess that we have here. I hopefully the United States will join the other parts of the world, not to criticize, but to help in the creation of a pandemic treaty. Because a lot of nonsense is the politics of, of the world.